god. <laughs> Hey everybody, Fall here, 9600 here, and today we're going to be playing more of Old World Blues. So in the last episode, we arrived at Big Mountain and began talking with Dr. Cly and his Brain Box Associates. This game is, this DLC has so much charm. Lobotomizing. You lobotomize me? We removed your brain. Yes. So soft. Barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Oh, God. So, we pretty much get told they took our brain. Now we get the brainless perk. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled, and it resists to chem addictions, plus 25% resistance. And shock for and shock from bodily damage, plus 5% damage threshold, a minimum of one. Yeah, Abe, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh, the Tesla coils in its head. This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. <laughs> we do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. <laughs> oh God, this is so. This is such an amazing DLC. That doesn't explain the laser surgery on my chest and on my spine. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth. The autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart your heartless perk the scars on your chest seem <laughs> sorry the heartless perk the scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying you cannot be poisoned and filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing allowing all healing items chems to function at a higher level plus 25% robots are now confused by you and you take 50% less damage 50% less likely to score a critical hit. Sorry I keep stuttering. My cat keeps jumping on the desk. Oh, wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. <laughs> your spineless part. Due to the complications with the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled, and your strength, STR, and damage to a soul have been increased by Uno. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You took out my brain, heart, and spine? Maybe we should go see Oz. That auto-dock junk heap was one of Mobius' creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush! That is the sound of flushing. Why, the Fisher of Rolando, enough of his biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. 
We want you to stop him. Somehow. With science. You said something about needing technologies to stop- God damn it, Cat. I'm sorry. She, uh, he keeps, like, fucking with me. You said something about needing technologies to stop Mobius? Mm, no, I don't like that. First you scoop out my brain, now you want me to save you? That is correct, yes. I hope you're not demonstrating resentment now. If you are, well, we can't have that. <laughs> God damn it, Cap. That does it, forget this. I'm not helping you until I get my brain back. No, I'm a helpful guy. How the hell am I even talking to you right now? We have no idea. This line of questioning isn't important to us right now. Why are you asking these tangential questions? Stop it! We need these technologies. You need to get them. You must get them. You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands. And, uh, a heartbeat. Sort of. And eyes. <laughs> mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need your help. Will you help us? I'll help. What do you need me to do? Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight's transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... They, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good for us. This whole place sounds dangerous. These devices sound dangerous. Nonsense. This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Our technology is no more lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon. The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal, uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. Okay, so, um, <laughs> in this little break of them not talking to us, I really quickly just want to apologize. Sorry if this, uh, first part is mostly, uh, them talking. Uh, which is actually kind of good for me, because I've been yawning a lot through this fit. God damn it, cat! Meh. Alright, whatever. Um, trust me, I want to get this over as quickly as possible. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. Do not get curious, or you will end up like the cat of Schrodinger. We feared you would be tempted towns. to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on, and leave curiosities and items of interest alone. So many sciences and developments. 
Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish, to end it all quickly and carelessly guide you. Right you are, Ace. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Uh, experiment. Nobel. Challenge. After all, there will be plenty of time afterward to partake of the experiments once our bidding is done. Okay. <laughs> once again, I would like to apologize for all the talking. I just... I couldn't possibly feel good if I skipped all this quirky dialect and... Um, Oh god, this is probably going to be a really long episode because I want to get some action done here. Doesn't sound like my style. Maybe I'll do a little exploring. It is kind of funny how they were like nudging at like, don't do anything besides what we want you to do, which is like the exact opposite of what Fallout encourages in people. What illogic is this? Keep your filthy penis tits feet out of our labs and secrets. There are things here no lobotomite was meant to see. Things that would astound and possibly terrify. Terrify! Oh my god, I forgot about no, penis tip fingers. Can't your solutions. Only the magnificence of our monitors allow for true comprehension of the wonders of Big Mountain. Shield your jellied eyes lest they burn from your skull. Guess I better get walking then. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly, directly. <laughs> Oh my god, probably one of my favorite things about that is just how horny Dala is in this game. It is so amazing. Uh, sounds suspiciously that I can't leave. Oh, I fucked that up. That sounds suspiciously like I can't leave. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously by your deadened perceptions oh god this is so much talking <laughs> I'm really sorry about this so I can't leave oh uh, dr. Klein dr. Klein if I may intersect for a moment what is it the lobotomite is asking me things oh and I'm trying to ignore them my processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? <laughs> Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module. Ow! Son of a bitch, cat! Ow. Ah, I never understood what Let's Players meant before, but as soon as they start recording, their cat wants everything to do with them. Now I fucking do. Jeez, fucking get off! Ah, okay, well we're almost done with this dialogue. Thank God. There's a weapon you can give me, hand it over. I'll put it to good use. 
It is truly the end of all intelligence when a lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8, just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days, the sadness of my youth, my youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated, you little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Well... Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Ooh. All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate code spew from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. Holy shit. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode off here. If you guys like all this talking, uh, be sure to fucking do whatever. I wouldn't like this part if I were you. Bye. <laughs>